Welcome to arc length of a parametric curve. So recall um, for y equals f of x equation, right? Um, the arc length over the interval a, b. Uh, was given by, or is given by, the definite integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared and the square root dx. Right? So now let's go ahead and translate uh, for parametric curves. So if we have a parametric curve, um, x equals f of t, y equals g of t on the interval from t naught to t1. Right. Um, note that we should be looking at definite integral, uh, the square root of one plus dy dx squared dx, kind of as our standard um, integral. Right. But this is the integral of uh, the square root of one plus um, dy dx was g prime of t over f prime of t squared. Um, I'm gonna do change of variable. So my x's are running from uh, f of t naught to f of t1 for the bounce. If we do u substitution, except here we're gonna do t substitution. Um, to change variable, we have that dx dt is f prime of t. So that means that dx, would be um, f prime of t times dt. So our equation or our integral becomes the definite integral from t naught to t1 of the square root of one plus g prime of t over f prime of t squared times our dx now becomes f prime of t dt. So we therefore get that our arc length is the inter definite integral from t naught to t1 of the square root of 1 plus g prime of t over f prime of t squared. And then I'm gonna pull inside the square root that f prime of t, it becomes f prime of t squared inside the square root and then dt. But this is simply the definite integral from t naught. I can move this on the next line. This can be rewritten as the arc length is equal to the definite integral from t naught to t1 of the square root of f prime of t squared plus g prime of t squared and then dt. So again, what we're doing here 
uh, I can change the variable. And so maybe instead of calling it t substitution, let's change the variable to t. Or convert to t. Again, we knew that dy dx was g prime of t over f prime of t. And we also knew uh, k prime dx, right? Then in this step here, I hold the f prime of t inside the square root. And then in the last step, I just distribute it in the f prime of t squared. So let's go ahead and find arc length. Let's find the arc length of the curve defined by x of t is equal to 3 cosine of t plus 2. y of t equals 2 sine of t minus 1 on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So just a quick note. So note, this is the ellipse. centered at 2, negative 1 uh, with uh, radius in the x direction or horizontal radius 3 and vertical radius 2. So essentially, we are looking for the equivalent of the circumference, since going 0 to 2 pi takes us exactly once around the ellipse. Um, so we have the arc length. Would be equal to the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of f prime of t squared plus g prime of t squared dt. Here, our f of t is 3 cosine of t plus 2. So that means that our f prime of t is a negative 3 sine of t. Our g of t is equal to 2 sine of t minus 1. So our g prime of t is equal to uh, 2 cosine of t. So we get, therefore, that our arc length is equal to the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of negative 3 sine of t, all things squared, plus 2 cosine of t, all things squared, dt. Or definite integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of 9 sine squared of t, plus 4 cosine squared of t, dt. For the purpose of this activity, I'm not going to compute this by hand. We can just go ahead and plug this into Desmos. And see what we get. So switching over to Desmos. So here we have uh, the definite interval from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of 9 sine squared x plus 4 cosine squared x dx. Um, Desmos calculates this to be about 15.865. I've also calculated what would be the circumference of the circle of radius 3 and the circumference of the circle of radius 2. 
you can see that our ellipse circumference falls between the two circles of its sort of two radii. So adding this back into our notes, Um, here we have a note. Again, this falls between uh, four pi and six pi, or in other words, between the circumference of a circle of radius two and of a circle of radius three. So if we drew our ellipse with major radius three, minor radius two, we would have our sort of bigger circle on the outside has a slightly larger radius. And then we have a circle of radius two on the inside, has a, sorry, has a smaller circumference. And so essentially, we're just comparing sort of, it makes sense that the arc length should fall sort of in the middle of this. Um, so this is arc length. You will likely run into plenty of integrals that are not simple to take. They may be completely doable, just not necessarily simple. Um, and you will also run into some that maybe are not possible with the techniques that we have learned so far. Um, so you are welcome to use Desmos uh, for doing that computation for finding our plan.